Hello artists, I'm going to be making a winter-ish landscape. So if you'd like to do this, you'll need a background paper, and then please look through the scrap paper bins before you get full sheets of paper. So, all right, first things first. With this scrap paper, what I'm gonna do is, there's a right and a wrong way to tear paper. I'm gonna see if I can tear it this way actually the wrong way. I don't know why I started with that, but. And I'm going to glue this paper down here to represent a snowy bottom. And I tore it to be more like a soft, real snow bit. So I'm gonna go kind of quickly. So that's my background. Not gluing the best, but I'm gonna make sure it is down there. And I'm gonna be making a few or a couple red trees. Again, I got these from the scrap paper bin. If you'd like to make a tree similar, and I'm gonna show you how to decorate this thing too, then you start at the top of the tree. I'm gonna make this one slightly bigger. Make a wavy line. Go down some more. Wavy line. more. All right. Cut this out. And one tree is larger, one tree is smaller, and here is my question. If I want the trees to um, have perspective, meaning I want them to actually be the same size tree in real life, if they were real life trees, how should I place them on my paper? So look at this, if that was unclear. If I put them at the same spot on the snow, then actually this tree just is a bigger tree. If I put this one lower, then actually this tree is very small and this one's very big and it's farther away. But if I switch it and I bring this one higher on the snow and then this one lower, then it looks like this one is farther away. All right, so I'm gonna pretend I like this way so that I can make one tree in the distance and one tree closer. It doesn't really matter which one's which, I just wanted to make sure that you're thinking about how to make things look farther or closer and you would glue them down. I'm just gonna pretend mine are glued down. Ah, that's not true. I'll just do a not great job at gluing. Okay, and then here's the part that I think you might find fun is to paint patterns on them, but to use a couple different items. One item is I'm going to use regular white paint that I have that's liquid and I'm going to make a pattern by using the back end of my paintbrush. All right. And I could do that in the sky as well. I'm not going to finish mine once again. But in addition, so it's good to have a painter's cloth so you can wipe that off. I'm gonna use the point of a pencil to make really small dots. And then please, if you're using your pencil, the art room's pencil, it doesn't matter, make sure you wash this stuff off. And you can get really elaborate and make, I mean, my patterns are quite boring because again, I'm trying to go kind of quickly, but you could do other things too, like in the sky to make it more and more interesting. So I'm gonna continue to play with mine for a few minutes. And I hope that you make something like this today. All right, folks, happy arting.